We're back at the Worthington Diamond Mine after I've excavated some of the lamperite. I left this hard wall here, uh, some of it, because it, it helps when you're running a loader or in this case a skid steer to have something hard like a hard wall to push against. So <clears throat> when Mac comes down this ramp and puts his bucket down to scoop up this stuff that I've dug up and broke up, uh, he can push against this hard wall so that he fills his bucket to the top before making the, the thousand foot trip to the diamond processing plant. Um, you can see that material is really hard because of the teeth marks it left in it, you know, from the excavator. So anyway, this has not been disturbed. I, I didn't dig that, but all of this material I dug and piled up here and it's ready to haul for processing. So really we've got quite a bit that'll last us a while and then we can dig the other stuff up. But uh, this broke it up pretty good in manageable pieces. It comes out in flakes. I try to hit it with a bucket and break this up. But see, it's thin and when it goes through the uh, trommel, it'll break up and release the diamonds that are in it. So anyhow, we've got a, a fair amount of material here ready to haul and when it's gone, I'll dig into that other stuff, but it was um, pretty hard and it was getting hot. <laughs> uh, it's September, but it's not acting like it. It was 102 with a heat index of 112, and both the machine and I got kind of hot, so I quit and uh, went in for a while, but I think this will be quite a bit to run. Run us for a while anyhow, but uh, we've got more in here we can excavate and process uh, so we've got a lot of diamond bearing material yet to work through um, you see this stuff with the the black on it that's where there was like a crack in the ore as you can see these this fracturing uh, and then the ore is really kind of a brownish color well in the fractures manganese and iron leach down in there and stain that so it's just a staining on the outside so it's not the whole piece that is that color it's just uh, like I say iron and manganese so it's it's pretty cool stuff I like it but uh, so it's a post volcanic mineralization doesn't really have anything to do with the volcano. It has more to do with the shallow sea that was here after the volcano intruded. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see this. There's some white spots on this. That could be ash. And when you use the term ash, people think of something from a, a fireplace or wood stove or something. But uh, in this case, with volcanic rock, ash, you're talking about when this uh, volcano brought, all, all this used to be red hot, glowing, molten rock, very hot, came up from about 100 miles deep, coming at the speed of about Mach 2, twice the speed of sound. And when it hit, it ejected when it hit the surface. It ejected that stuff up into the air. Well, see, there's, there's ash right there. That, that white is ash. So um, it ejected into the air, and when molten hot, <laughs> red hot anything, hits air, it's going to burn. Even rock is going to burn. And so it burned to an ash and then it fell back down and smothered out. So you just have little round dots of uh, ash in this. But uh, anyway, it was very violent here at one time, but has since calmed down. In fact, a few minutes ago, a little violent here, uh, we got an afternoon rain and uh, that has passed. We needed the rain to cool it off, but it hadn't cooled it much. Like I said, uh, the heat index was 100 and 
12 just a little bit ago when I was out here digging this. But uh, anyway, it's all interesting stuff. Ooh, that was very, very green. Um, <clears throat> so that's probably olivine. And this is a olivine lamperite brescia. Brescia meaning angular clasped. But it also has some ash in it as well. Uh, now this is a clasp that was inside. This is a piece that was um, uh, in the volcanic rock. Um, here's here's some more. <sighs> Most of this is brown, but then you've got this green in here as well. So uh, volcanic material is like this igneous material is messy stuff it's got all kinds of things stirred up in the in the soup and then it hardened but it's interesting to study and and look at it uh, you may not think it's beautiful but uh, it's a sight for my eyes i've been looking for a deposit of lamprite outside the state park for years and now we finally own a portion of one and uh, we're mining it and running it through modern state-of-the-art diamond recovery equipment. Thanks for joining me for this look at uh, what's going on at the Worthington excavation, the Worthington Diamond Mine.